Wait, I don't, I don't understand. Two days after the kiss, if I'm not mistaken, so much time passed that even Ruka-chan, who had been on full alert, started to relax. I haven't been able to... Eventually... You are the chosen one! You must pretend that you are going to destroy the romance genre, not join them! Bring bows to the genre! Not leave it in darkness! I, I don't even know, guys. I... Hey, YouTube. You have Leonard here. I I just finished Chapter 233, everybody. Um, this is the review portion. And I'm not going to lie. We're still on Twitch. Like, this is very fresh in my mind. Uh, this chapter... I, I'm honestly really upset. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I can't sugarcoat this. And I want to think, you know, things will get better. This chapter literally has me upset. For, for for numerous reasons, by the way, for numerous reasons. Everybody, so, so once again, this particular chapter, I, I just don't know what to even think or what to say because as it stands right now for this whole Kazuya, Chizuru, it's like, what are we doing? I feel so bad for Kazuya in this chapter, everybody. If you haven't read it, read the chapter. Uh, go on Twitch, of course, my live reactions there as well. You can check that out. Um, it was definitely interesting. But all I can say is that Kazuya deserves better. Chizudu has officially, for the time being, she has lost a level of my support. I'm not going to lie. Um, and the reasoning behind that is the fact that me personally as an individual, and I said this on the Twitch stream, I'm 27 years old and I don't have a tolerance for BS. I don't have a tolerance for immaturity. I truly don't. Um, if you need a day, if you're Chizudu because you're confused, two days, three days, a week, I get it. You're going through a lot of stuff new emotions etc but she's new all she has done for the longest time in this manga is run away all she has done and i've defended chizuru time and time again because i understand where her emotions are and i understand that she doesn't mean to be malicious about it but guys how do we go a three month time skip and there's two issues the three months issue number one is just the fact that chizuru actually avoided this guy for three months she left him on red. She lives next door to him. And quite frankly, if it's been three months, maybe she moved. Because I don't understand how Kazuya or no one, or even at school, has seen Chizuru. I, I truly don't understand that. So my big issue, first and foremost, is that Chizuru disappeared for three months. And that's ridiculous. Um, and, and to me, that's very immature. It's not something that you do when it comes to your problems. If you have an issue with Kazuya, at least approach him, do him the courtesy of saying, hey, right now I'm going through some stuff and I really just don't want to talk to you. And that may sound harsh, but you know what? I would respect that more. I don't want to talk to you. <clears throat> I don't care about you right now. Uh, okay, don't say that. But I don't want to talk to you. I'm feeling conflicted. I don't want to tell you why. I'm going through some things. I need a break. Don't contact me. Lose my number. I would have more respect for that than to literally ghost him. He sent you a message. You know th that he came to your door and you chose to ignore him and run away. And he said, ah, I can't take this. And then afterwards he messages you and you don't say anything. I'm like, that's that's not right. That truly is not right. And Kazi has made countless mistakes throughout this whole entire series. And I recognize that. But at the end of the day, she's, what you're doing to Kazi isn't right. That's not fair. That's not right thing to do. Kazuya has done nothing but care about you. He's been nothing but been genuine. When your grandmother was on death's door, this man was helping you make a movie, helping you to achieve your dreams and do all this other stuff, earnestly, selflessly. He didn't have to do that. And I'm not saying that because of these things that he has done, that you should be obligated to be with him. I'm not saying that. You can like whoever you like. But don't you think you owe somebody like that at least the courtesy of letting them know if you're going to disappear from their life? At least even talking to them, saying something. You love the man on red. Kazuya Son, who again, I, I mentioned this, suffers from, in my opinion, clearly low self-esteem first and foremost. This man, as far as I'm concerned, he has like depression symptoms. He spent, what, two weeks in his room, just depressed, hasn't showered, etc. This is wrong. This is, this is literally, and again, I want, I want... I want to be calm about this, but I truly am frustrated. And again, it's not me calling the series trash. I'm not saying Rent a Girlfriend is trash. I'm not saying one chapter is going to make me drop the series. 
that's obviously not the case. But as I look at this right now, and I just try to use my, my common sense of reading this whole entire thing, I'm just like, she's, you have to get your act together. But this wasn't the way. This was not the right way. Kazuya deserved much better than that. And now Deiji, now, now for you Deiji, you have a spend like some 40 chapters in the Hawaiians on two days, two days. Chapters of Kazuya being like, oh, Chizuru, Chizuru, her, her thighs are like the apples of a golden something and her breasts are like the bosom of a- Stop it, get some help. And yet you skipped three months of crucial progression? What happened with Kibe? Have they talking? Kuri, has he been continuing to encourage Kazuya? Ruka, what has she been doing now that it's been three months and her rival's out of the picture? What has mommy been doing for these past three months? How does the family feel? You skipped all of that. You skipped all of that. And why? And we're gonna get this in flashback form? You didn't need to do this. You didn't. You went for the shock value of a three month skip basically in order for us to be like, oh, oh my gosh, three months. You could have literally had a, like a steady progression. You could have shown some panels of like, could like all them interacting and then eventually led us to a three months. It wouldn't take that long. It would have taken a couple of chapters, but I don't know. And, and guys, I, I, I see what's happening on chat right now. It says in almost three months, I, I'm gonna take that for the time being at face value, unless I hear otherwise um, as the story continues. I'm going to take that basically a sizable amount of time has passed by, whether it be one month, two months, exactly three months, who knows, a sizable amount of time has passed by and ag i i really don't like in series and this is just me personally and again it's not a shot i still enjoy the series i'm frustrated right now as you can clearly see by what i guess it's turned into more of a rant than a review but you can't to me i don't like when you take progression there are things that should be happening in the story that are crucial because we care about character interactions and like how they deal with each other to skip over that you can't justify it by giving me flashbacks as we go through the rest of the story. To me, that's not good. I want to see real time. I'm reading a real time story. So you give us 40 chapters for two days, but then in two chapters, we just skipped over three months of crucial development with our characters. What is Kiba even doing? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what, what's the fallback. It, it can't be a three month simmering. It's not like the world went on pause for three months. <sighs> End of the day, I will say my final thoughts quickly. As I look at Chizuru and what she's doing, no doubt Chizuru's a good person. I'm looking at one of my comments right now. Uh, he's not hurting him, but her. She, she's hurting. Chizuru's just making mistakes. And all she's doing is causing pain for not just Kazuya, but for herself. Chizuru, look yourself in the mirror for a second, for a quick, quick second, and ask yourself, Am I happy? Am I happy? Seriously, just ask yourself that cheese to do. You've been doing the rental girlfriend stuff for however long. You currently have no living relatives. You have no living relatives right now, which, which to our knowledge anyway, which absolutely, it just sucks. It absolutely does. On top of that, you get to the point where your friends, what have you been doing for your friends? You're just doing your own thing. Kazi has been there. His family has been there for you. They've cared for you. These people are essentially like an extension of your family at this point, as far as I'm concerned. And for you to go the route of just disappearing from everyone's life, I don't know. Ray, Ray she has to do something special to make me even accept like what she is doing. Because at this point in time, I just feel bad for Chizu's character. I truly, earnestly feel bad. And I think that I've said it before. For everyone who had these grandiose ideas that Chizu's this really respectable and really mature character is a lie. And it's been a lie. And that's what the whole video I've been working on is trying to talk about is the fact that Chizuru is someone who is very hurt, she's fragile, and she's immature. That's how she's always been. And we've always gotten glimpses of that. So when she's all of a sudden conflicted and when she's not making rational choices, it's not like it's bad writing from the standpoint of like, oh, you know, like she wasn't like this before. 
Chizuru has always been this type of character and that's why it hurts because as things keep getting rougher and rougher she regresses more and more and more because that has been her personality in clutch moments she has moments where she's able to shine but when it comes to her and her feelings at the end of the day she doesn't know how to process her thoughts she doesn't know how to express herself she is literally strangling herself and isolating herself from everybody and everything and that's not good you deserve happiness, Jizudu. If you like Kazuya, who cares about your job? Quit your job. Quit your job. You don't need the rental job. You can find other lines of work and still try to become an actress. You don't need the rental job. If that's your conflict, then just drop it. You haven't done anything wrong. Chizudu, Ichinose, you deserve happiness. Let Mizuhada die. Just do it. Oh. Let me look at chat. Now what we need is for Kazuya to see Chizu taking some sort of business of Umi or whatever. If I see Umi again, I don't even want to see Umi. I don't even want to see Umi. Maybe Kazuya properly rejected Ruka. But that's the thing, everybody. The biggest issue I have, all the questions that we're asking, we shouldn't have to ask these questions. We shouldn't have to fill in the gaps. We shouldn't have to. We truly shouldn't have to. But Eiji, by doing, again, this whole time skip, so to speak, you don't allow your readers now to truly understand like what is that you're making us guess on things and these are things that honestly we shouldn't be guessing about what is happening with ruka maybe this did happen like, so and then we have a, and then we have a break on top of that reminds me of Eris and mushoko tensei that's true that is true and oh man i felt for rudy man i felt for rudy when i saw that uh that's a very good point that is very similar of that and even Eris had the nerve the, the, to at least leave a letter that gives you some level of hope and as much as it hurts rudy rudy is because of everything that happened at least there's hope but in this case she's a dude i've never seen someone she ghosted him it's not like she said i need to go away and this and that she ghosted him and she vanished from a sight he's never said a single word to her ever since they've split from the airport she didn't tell him he was she was going to leave she just left his life She's what she's doing. She's just running and she's hurting herself and she's hurting Kazuya and she's being honestly just very immature about all of this. She really is. She's handling this as poorly as a person can handle this. Piss poorly. <sighs> For those on the YouTube side, let me know your thoughts again. Less of a review, more of a rant. I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yes, and that's the one last thing. Josh Games, I agree. So just very quickly, everybody, the last thing, the only beacon of hope that we have right now is that the girl that we've needed for honestly the past 60 chapters, we've needed Yaimori, however long, not 60 chapters, 40 chapters. We've needed Yaimori, and I'm happy that she has returned to the story. I don't know why it took us this long, why it took three months or however long it was, but thank you for Yaimori, and let's see if she can do something. We, we need we need a hero we need a hero not all heroes wear capes some heroes are just cute adorable kohais i don't like where this is going just saying just saying but everybody um we'll see what happens let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below um i'm gonna start i have to edit this i have to edit this a bit but like the video if you like the video subscribe if you like my content is greatly appreciated as always and with that, I'm Leonard, and I'm out. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Peace. I hate you too, Reiji. I hate you too. You're my mangaka, Reiji. I loved you. Yeah, now burn. Burn with your manga. Burn.